Guys, welcome back to Stormblock 3. I'm not sure why I'm Steve, but in this episode we did so many things. Let's check them out. Alright guys, now that we have an infinite supply of lava, I want to create obsidian. So, the idea guys is to pump lava from the infinite generator into Tinker Smeltery together with some water and then the smeltery basically alloys the two into obsidian but we've got a small problem the water overwhelms the system and i'm not sure how to resolve it so guys i wasted about five hours of my time trying to automate it fully but then i thought why not try something much simpler and then i decided to test the mechanical drill on the obsidian nice nice all right let's see so we don't need the smeltery i removed it completely and just made a simple setup two pipes going into one block making obsidian if it makes stone guys just break it and it will make obsidian next then i set up the mechanical drill with the fastest speed i can get So guys, place a hopper under the obsidian and the storage. I did place a storage controller because I thought it would make cobblestone at times, but it doesn't. So guys, that's it. Very simple. Two pumps, a drill and a hopper. And then I was thinking what to do next. Hmm. No. Guys, I think we need a base expansion. Let's do it. Oops. Alright, base expansion it is there. Nice. Very nice. Not nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, definitely bad idea. After that, guys, I died about another five times and I gave up. So I made like a four or five uh, diamond hammers. And uh, yeah, it was taking way too long. Then I think I crafted the Tinker's Hammer, but it sucked. But... Also, guys, if you want uh, to see me dig a hole for five hours, you can subscribe to my OnlyFans channel. Uh, I mean, Patreon channel. Just kidding, I don't have one. Yep, that hammer wasn't working, guys. So I just used the diamond hammers that I made. After finishing with the base expansion, I moved the wash setup into the new square hole that we had. All the outputs, the soul sun, the sand, the gravel and the dust are now going into one mechanical belt for washing.
I'll fix the issue guys with the gear shift later. Alright guys, so I'm moving everything to the big room and uh, I've set up a better washing setup. Basically everything goes down into belts and everything that needs to be washed is being washed. And everything that needs to be smelted is being smelted. And then... I love this. I love this, guys. And then everything jumps out. Noise. Hmm. Why is this not working? Alright, guys. Go. So, we now have some more... Organized washing and storage. Nice. We just need to upgrade to void upgrades, which we will get now. Boys. Nice. Nice. Alright guys, so I beautified the whole thing. And yeah, looks nice. So guys, I also automated two pairs of crushing wheels. And now we got experience nuggets. Guys, I'm so stupid. I wasted so much time making this hole. I should have made this. Noise. Hmm. Hmm. No. Oh, my God. That would have been so much faster. Oh guys, nice. We made it to the end. Let's get some end stone. I mean, this should be enough to get four ender pearls, right? Noise. Nice. Noise. Nice. Noise. Oh my god. Guys, the mining gadget was nice, but then I discovered the distraction gadget which was amazing holy poop check this out guys oh my god i was all over the place guys then for some reason i don't even remember why i decided to make a golden egg So I made an experience obelisk, then I made a basic fluid tank, very easy to make, and some fluid pipes, also very easy to make. But they need a special wrench, which I made. Nice. Then we cracked some experience orbs, nuggets, and got the necessary experience for the golden egg. 
And we crafted the chicken food that is needed. Nice. We cracked some eggs unsuccessfully. But then I remembered that I had foreseen this, so I put some chickens on the side. Oh my god. Nice. Golden egg. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe I should not have done this here. Nice. And as you already noticed, I jumped from one task to another in this episode, so I made the exchanging gadget. And we swapped the whole floor with some better looking stone. Nice. Then I started designing the mob farm. We didn't have a spider eye to make it complete though, so I had to run it a few times before I actually placed the rotten egg. Then I crafted the slime sling because I got some slime boots from a loot box, loot chest. And yeah, we just jumped around our new square box, which was fun. Definitely suggest doing so. We got back to the mob farm. It works. So we had to implement the whole thing. But first we crafted 10 sharpness upgrades, 10 looting upgrades and 10 beheading upgrades. Then we crafted some tinted glass and started building the farm. So the design is simple, 5x5 five five dirt, one fan pushes all the mobs to the second fan. The first fan needs an upgrade, a width upgrade. The second fan needs nothing. Surround the whole thing with tinted glass. If you're building a three tall farm, then you need an ender inhibitor for the enderman not to teleport. An item hopper for all the items and liquids to be absorbed. A chest on the left. Actually, a chest and a fluid tank, whatever you want. You can set it up as you want it. And then I also placed the redstone lamp to switch it on and off. And we got the spider eye we needed. So we got our food, chicken food, and we got the rotten egg, which we used on the farm. And now it will work even if we're close to it. I had a small problem with the slimes, but the fun upgrade fixed it. Then I tried getting a weaver spawner with the create way, with the cart assembler. But it doesn't work, guys. I'm not sure, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I think it doesn't work in Stone Lock 3. So I had to go back to the other way, which is basically crafting those XP jellies and using an entity spawner to spawn the weaver skeletons and also blazes. We crafted an entity spawner, but this was the first time using it and I never read anything, so I placed the mob swap, but you need a mob egg.
I see, I see. Nice. So this is how it works. We spawned some more chickens, just in case. And then we headed to the Never to get a mob swap from a Weaver Skeleton and a Blaze. Nice. Now we just need a Blaze. Nice. Uh -huh. Nice. Nice. We got the two foods for chicken crafted and we fed them to the chickens to get the needed result. Nice. A weaver egg and a blaze egg. Nice. Set up the entity spawner next to our farm. Also, by this time, guys, I made another three levels of the same setup you've seen before. Because this thing needs a lot of jellies to run. And especially if you have two, like me, a weaver and a blaze, you'll need a lot of experience jellies. Right, guys, moment of truth. Cut this fan off, guys. Should be working now. All right, guys. So <laughs> this has been a long episode. Uh, hopefully, it's shorter for you guys. For me, it took like five or six days. So we've got so much done, guys. We've on a new place for the washing or automation smelting we got storage going on we got a mob farm and we also have a blaze and a weaver farm set up all in one place um this thing is not keeping up i believe or is it i think it's keeping up that's nice nice I've set up three more floors for uh, uh, normal mobs to spawn, so we can get more experience and more jellies. Uh, meaning more spawns of blazes and weaver skeletons. And I've linked the whole thing with storage drawers for the time being. Sorry. Yeah guys, so we get at blaze roads now coming in. Um, Blaze heads, which will give us blaze blood for further smelting. And uh, yeah, weaver heads, guys. Weaver skeleton, sorry, not weaver heads, weaver skeleton schools, which will allow us to progress further. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Actually, let's do one more thing, guys. Oh my god, no!